Hi Taurus, today is Sunday, July 16th, 2023. I just did your reading, I just did a reading reading for you guys, but I'm not going to post it. There was a lot of people running through your reading, a lot of different energies in your reading. I don't know what you guys are doing right now, but there's a lot of people there. And so I wanted to redo your reading and just really get down to business here with what's happening in your energy. And these are the cards I used to do that with. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? There's a lot of action here. A lot of juggling, trying to keep up with several different things at once. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Okay, so you're starting off here with the King of Swords. And then you have the Hangman. You're really the king of the mind right now. Like, you're really trying to observe things around you. Seven of Wands, feeling defensive. We're going to go back and clarify these energies. I'm seeing an argument taking place here. This could have already happened for some of you with the Five of Swords. And you have a soul connection here. This is someone that you have history with showing up in the center of your reading. For some of you, this is an ex. For others of you, this can even be a child. This is a soul connection. Someone in your life that you have history with. So let's see what's going on, Taurus. And then you have this energy of walking away. The Five of Pentacles. There's this feeling of emptiness, loneliness over this ending. The Death card is here, which is Scorpio energy. And then you have the High Priestess, Pisces energy. I'm seeing you really up in your head here and making a judgment call. There's someone here that you have a lot of love for, all right? Um, there could even be two people here. There's, there's two hands facing you, Taurus. You are the Queen of Pentacles here. And I feel like you... You know, you could be juggling your money and love at the same time or something that you're juggling. Why is the King of Swords here, spirits? Someone has an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in their energy. Aries is here with the Fool and the Knight of Cups. See, there's several different people in you guys' reading today I feel like there's uh, someone here that has two children that are very significant here in the reading but I feel like I feel like you're really thinking right now with the with the king of swords energy you're looking at something because there's something here that you would like to take a risk on you'd like to take a chance with the fool energy and there's two different offers here with the knight of cups and the knight of pentacles so i don't know if you have a water sign and an earth sign in your energy or if this is love and money why is the hanged man here but you're really looking at the bigger picture you're really up in your mind about this decision you could even be taking some type of a risk the eight of swords is here which is you're you know you're stuck in constant thinking here about maybe making a move but i feel like there's someone here waiting for you 
and this could be past energy here with the three of wands um and this person is stuck in some type of situation they may even be in jail but i'm feeling like this is someone that wants you to come and get them or move them into a safer place with the six of swords there's movement here and this this energy right here this is the seven of wands all of these wands pointing at you they have hands on the ends of them and you have a lot of different energies like wanting stuff from you and you're getting defensive and you're kind of pulling back here you're even wearing two different shoes so there's a fight there's a battle here and I feel like it's it could be between two people it's like you may have to choose one and I'm not saying these are both romantic love interests but I'm seeing there's there's this defensive energy and I feel like you may feel like you're stuck in the middle here and it's not fair why is the seven of wands here see I'm picking up a child here for someone there's the three of swords which is heartbreak and pain because you need to choose over you need to choose between two people that you feel a commitment to both of these people this hierophant is your energy Taurus and for some of you this is yet to come that is still in your energy right now and for some of you this has recently happened all right, and then, yeah, see, here's the lovers, a choice. Gemini energy. And there is the sun, which could be a child. You can see the sun on this card. And so it's making you feel very, very defensive because there's two people here that have your heart, that have your love. And I'm feeling like you need to walk away from one of these people. And it's really, really got you up in your head like this with the Nine of Swords. Like, this isn't fair. Why can't we all just get along? Why is the Five of Swords here? And this Five of Swords, it's talking about change. It's number five. And it's one of these people, I feel like, they don't care who they hurt. They want to win. You have justice here, Libra energy. There's someone here that you need to walk away from in order to make this situation right. Justice is Libra energy. Ten of Swords. And it's very painful with the Ten of Swords. It's a painful ending. And there's a lot of sadness associated with it, with the Five of Cups. But I'm feeling like there, there's one energy here above the other one that is causing you to choose between two. Why is the Six of Cups here? And there, there's one of these energies that you think about a lot. It's someone that you have history with, but there's the Five of Wands is here, so there's a conflict, all right? There's petty games, there's arguments here. And then you have the world about closing out a cycle and leaving one behind. And then you have the Magician is showing up in the center of your reading here, so... I almost feel like there's there's competition here and someone is trying to be manipulative. And so I'm seeing you walking away right here with the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? That's 
Okay, I mean, it's a hard decision with the Two of Pentacles, but one of these need to be dropped. You're juggling here. The Hermit is their Virgo energy. And this has to do with uh, maybe a marriage, a home, family, and you got this Queen of Wands that has been showing up a lot in your energy, so I don't know if you have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your chart, or if this is one of these people, but you could know an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone who has that in their chart. But I I don't I'm seeing you really up in your head about this decision, Taurus, and it's even difficult for me to do the reading because I'm picking up these different energies here that are involved in your life right now. You have the five of pentacles here, so I feel like you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. There's going to be pain here um, no matter what you do, no matter what your decision is. There's pain involved here, but something's coming to an end. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? You have the Ace of Swords, the Page of Wands. And the Knight of Pentacles. See, more, more people. These may be family members. The Ten of Cups. And behind it is the Nine of Cups. There's someone that's, that's going to go. And I'm seeing you, you know, like hearing different sides of the story here um i'm gonna say the truth hurts because i'm seeing the truth here and i'm seeing pain involved in it this is just a very specific message for someone but i'm seeing like a younger child here and like a teenager why is death here scorpio energy is here with death See, some, something within the family is coming to an end. And there is so much pain involved here with the Three of Swords, with this ending and this tower moment. It's something that you are completely not expecting, Taurus. Tell me more about the tower moment. It's like something here has got to give. The universe is making something right and tearing something down so that it can be rebuilt again. You have the King of Cups and you have the Ace of Pentacles here. So there's someone in your life. I see this person, they love you a lot. And I feel like this is someone where there's a lot of potential here. This is someone that offers you something. But I feel like there's something else here that is more important to you. And you need to you need to make the right decision for all involved here. And the next card, but it's a very difficult decision. The next card you have here is you have the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? The Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. I'm st I see you here keeping something to yourself, Taurus, with this High Priestess energy. It's like this pain you're keeping up in your head and in your mind. And um, you're, you're kind of keeping quiet here. But I'm seeing somebody here turning their back on love with the Ace of Cups. And choosing maybe to be single here with the Nine of Pentacles. But this is 
the person that you're dealing with here, this could be any sign. Um, this is a very complicated decision I'm seeing coming into your energy. For some of you, like I said, this is already here. But the Nine of Swords is here about making a life-changing decision, something that changes everything. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The King of Pentacles. The Magician. And the Four of Cups. There could be someone here that is um, manipulating a certain situation when it comes to the home or with money. They're showing up here as a magician and um, this person... I don't know. They're not happy. It's like they're turning their back on love. Why is judgment here? Three. See, there's three. At least three people involved here. And the moon. And the six of wands. So there... This juggling act has got to stop. You've got to choose between two. And it just keeps showing me family here with the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody seems risky here. The Fool, Aries energy. And then... There, there could be a child here, like I said. I keep getting that, and that's just specific for somebody. But I'm seeing that um, even though you're going to be in your emotions about this decision with the moon, I'm seeing that you will make the right decision and justice will be served, and I'm seeing you having victory over this difficult time in your life, this difficult decision that needs to be made. All right, you guys, I'm going to have you, um, well, not yet. I'm going to pull out your Moonology cards first and get some advice from the universe here. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? You have half faith in your dreams, and this is waxing crescent moon. And then you have step out of your comfort zone, north node. And bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. All right, now I'm going to have you guys choose an angel answer card and ask your angels a question. And um, that, that second number that you got in your mind right now, keep it there. Spirits are telling you because um, sometimes these do not resonate with you and that's because it's a general reading. So you'll either keep two answers or there's one of these that just will not apply to some of you at all. If you chose number one, you're being told to listen to your intuition. It's very important. Your intuition is very strong right now, Taurus. <coughs> and then you have let go in this right here, number two. Number three, reconsider. All right, Taurus, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And I will see you tomorrow for our, our daily get-together. Taurus, take care of you. This looks like a very difficult decision. And um, I will be praying for you guys. And I see everything working out okay here for you. 
I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.